That's right. What? That's, <laughs> oh, that's right. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait no. a minute. That story shall never, never see the light of day. Well, okay. I'll <laughs> tell <it>. you won't. <laughs> <laughs> That's how happen. Philadelphia 2 Step is born. Let me hear this. No, I want to hear this. No, 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 no. That's not the Philadelphia 2 Step, though. Yeah. Oh, that came about. That is exactly what came about. That, that's right, because I was like, if she's willing to do that, she'd be willing to do this, too. <laughs> that's right. Hang on a second. <laughs> you guys need to start from the beginning. What the hell is this story? Uh, I'm not telling this story. It that's starts in Chipotle. <laughs> He goes into Chipotle. I can't even fucking tell the story. <laughs> and then Don Pablo's with the drink. Oh, God. What? Hey there, guys. It's Jesse with your Day 9 report. Day 9 went pretty swimmingly, and we got a ton of stuff done in Scarwood Reach, which, as it turns out, had a ton of story elements involved. In previous videos, uh, someone asked uh, what the story was like so far and if I could talk about it, so... I figured this is the perfect time to do that while you enjoy some Scarwood Reach footage. From the get-go, the story seems pretty linear on the Defiant side of things. Uh, Regulo's bad, Undead bad, uh, we are good. And of course our job is to send them packing and defeat the Death God. But as you move forward, there's apparently some other dragon cults and crap out there, such as this Alfwar, Alfwar? I I don't even know how to pronounce that. Who are these high elves who have forsaken the world and so they're just high and mighty about bringing about the rebirth of the planet, which pretty much means killing everything else. And so they've allied themselves with this green dragon and they want to have the life rift and uh, Talara sort of like become one. And they want to connect the two planes and uh, yeah, they're not very nice guys. What's kind of cool about this is that the bad guys from the life rifts and the bad guys from the death rifts don't get along at all, so they're at war with each other as well. So while the Guardians and Defiant are fighting each other, and Regulus, and the Alphwar, those guys are also fighting all three of us as well, so it's this big, crazy mess of guys wanting to kill each other. And of course, the High Elves have allied themselves with all the fantasy creatures of the forest, from like satyrs to little rat guys to fairies to giant treants and all sorts of other things and I enjoyed killing them all. There's a lot of cool quests in the area, like there's one where you have to follow this cat around who is actually just pretending to be a little cat. It's kind of funny. Uh, you have to do a bunch of uh, PvP objectives now. Uh, there's a lot of cool areas to take over and build up on. Uh, there's also a defense quest that's really awesome where it's like, defend the base, and then a thousand guys come at you and they're all forest creatures and stuff, so it's great killing them. And it's an epic battle, it's really fun. Also, there is this underground cave that eventually turned into this huge overworld dungeon area that uh, the deeper you went, the more complex it got. And we were like, what? Did not see that coming at all. I had a really great time in there. The storylines in there were kind of fun. And eventually you discover, of course, the elves' dark secret. That, of course, they're all about this wanting to bring life back into the world act. And that's exactly what it is. In reality, they're creating, like, horrific abominations and taking slaves and whatnot. And they're just, like I said, bad guys. And of course you meet their king, who is just a complete asshole. And after all this, our big running joke through the night was that the bad guys from Hellboy 2 must have needed work really bad. But the best part of the entire zone was this storyline with Ash Katari, who shows up to sort of defend the planet from these life rifts. For those who don't know, she's like the main character of the Defiance. And apparently this Guardian dude, who I assumed was her boyfriend, there's some like plot line involved here that if you read the books and things like that that you collect you can like sort of get more detail but basically I think Ash Katari has a boyfriend on the other side and so it's like they meet here he's like oh don't you do it she's like I have to do it and he's like no don't you do it she's like I have to do it and so uh, this big battle takes place and there's a great story to it and uh, it's pretty fun and we ended up sealing the rift and had a great time doing it and uh, yeah pretty great zone however with that said there is one part of Scarwood that shall forever be known as the place we will never return to. It's this destroyed town corrupted by the undead, and the quests there are like, drag undead into the fire after you light it. Except, all the undead are freaking ranged, and so kiting them is near impossible without wandering into even more undead who have this ridiculous spawn rate. And so just when you think you have a clear area where you can do this quest, you don't and you have to just kill guys constantly. I don't even know how long we were there for, but it felt like ages. Yeah. 
Never going back to that part of the zone. Ever. Anyway, we're done with that zone. We're 36, and now we have a choice. Do we go to the northern zones or the southern zones? We haven't decided yet, but uh, either way we go, it should be fun, should be interesting, and hopefully get to 50 soon and show you guys some of that end zone content. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, thumbs up, and as always, to be continued.